Hello and welcome back to JT Invest in You, the home of Algorand news and information. You're about to watch my interview with founder Philip Gabardo. Phil went to school for software engineering at McCaster University in Ontario, Canada. Before creating Alamex, Phil was a software engineer at four different locations over the last seven years, but most notable were the four and a half years he spent as a senior software engineer at Amazon. Alamex is a decentralized exchange aggregator built on top of the Algorand blockchain. DEX aggregators like Alamex help analyze quotes across multiple exchanges to give users an optimal deal. This was a fantastic discussion, and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, comment down below for the YouTube algorithm, then when you're all set, head on over to the Next Blocks YouTube channel, link right there, and subscribe to that channel as well. We have a bunch of fantastic guests coming out, including Fractal Monsters and Mark Yusko of Morgan Creek Capital, so be sure to go over to the Next Block and give it a subscribe. And now, here's my conversation with Phil Garbado about Alamex. So to start off, I want to know, what is Alamex in your words? Uh, what is the vision for the project? Uh, why did you decide to build it out? And how has your background led you to building this project? Sure. So uh, Alamex is a liquidity ag aggregator for swaps on Algorand. Um, so right now, it only handles market swaps. Um, but the basic idea is that there's a bunch of sources of liquidity, um, which fragments the liquidity across the eco ecosystem. Um, which is actually bad for the end user um, because fragmented liquidity results in shallower pools for any individual DEX. So by aggregating the, the liquidity, you basically reduce the price impact for bigger swaps. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of like combo swaps, but basically with Alamex, uh, if you enter in a large trade, it actually distributes it to you know multiple uh, swaps potentially or multiple DEXs. Yeah, the really interesting thing is, you know, a lot of people have gotten pretty excited about the launch of all these applications, but a lot of them have been uh, DEXs, which, as you said, does fragment the liquidity because if there's five or six decentralized exchanges that all have, you know, 10, 20, 30 million dollars on it, as opposed to one or two that have all of that liquidity, then, uh, you know, that liquidity ends up being a little bit fragmented. And you mentioned combo swaps. Uh, you know, Alamex just recently announced what they're calling multi-hop swaps, and they teamed up with DeFly to do that. Could you speak a little bit more on to how that works for the end user? Yeah, so um, we're actually using contract-to-contract -contract calls for that protocol. Um, but basically, the idea is you have um, a smart contract that you can call multiple times, um, and the smart contract can actually retain the assets that it trades. There's basically a parameter that, that you can pass to the smart contract that uh, indicates whether the contract should be closed out or whether the assets, assets should persist for further swaps. So uh, if you want to do a chain, you would basically just pass false for that closeout parameter until the very last hop, and then the final swap would basically close out all of the assets um, to the end user. So it's, it's a really powerful protocol because it can be used for multi-hop swaps so it could be used for triangular arbitrage or any sort of arbitrage uh, in the future. Yeah, arbitrage can be great, especially, honestly, in a low liquidity environment because there can be, and in an early environment too, because right now, I mean, there aren't, uh, there are some, but there aren't too many bots that are trading all of the pairs on Algorand, at least, where in some other ecosystems that are a little bit larger, people already have a bunch of bots uh, created, and it's kind of hard for the average person that doesn't know how to create a bot to do any arbitrage trading, but uh, for the average trader on Algorand, you're still able to, if you can find the deals, you're still able to find some good arbitrage deals across all the DEXs. So what's in store for Alamex in the future? So it's a DEX aggregator. We got that. It's A user can go to it to, you know, essentially get uh, one of the best prices possible by, you know, uh, exchanging assets across multiple exchanges and between different assets. But uh, what's, uh, what's in the future for Alamex? Yeah, so I've got a pretty packed roadmap right now. So I partnered with DeFly to build the that swap protocol that I mentioned, but that's actually big of a, a part of a, a larger project that we're working on together. I can't disclose too much uh, right now at the moment, just because I don't know how much DeFly wants to disclose. But that's kind of one of my major focuses right now, um, and there's probably going to be a public announcement on that in the coming weeks to months. Besides that, some teams have uh, reached out to me about leveraging Alamex for their projects. So there's 
a couple mobile wallets that want to integrate Alamex um, for you know native Algorand trading uh, experience in their wallets, and some other larger um, organizations have also reached out, um, but I don't want to disclose their names also publicly just because uh, you know, out of privacy. So yeah, APIs, the project with eFly, and then I'm also looking into potentially integrating uh, fiat on-ramps. So I've had some meetings with Alchemy Pay and Indicoin, trying to make a decision about which technology to use there. Um, but that's probably going to be you know months down the line. And then longer term, uh, I think the biggest opportunity is going to be bridging, which is going to be huge with state proofs, which I'm very excited for. I think bridging would have major implications for trading on Algorand um, because it could essentially speed up swaps on any other chain. Yeah, yeah, that's an exciting uh, feature that's soon to be coming out on Algorand or the state proof. So it'd be really interesting to see what other chains start to integrate that technology as well, just because you know we've seen you know, bridging in uh, DeFi can be one of the most costly uh, things if, uh, if it gets exploited. So uh, trustless bridging is, in my opinion, the future. So it's uh, exciting to see or hear that projects such as yours are going to be trying to leverage that technology to uh, incorporate a more multi-chain future. Uh, has Alamex been audited already? And if so, where can people go to view the audit? Uh, Alamex hasn't been audited yet. Alamex right now is basically just a front end. It's not leveraging any contract code other than the smart contract that DeFly and I wrote for that uh, multi-hop swap. Otherwise, it's basically just making direct swaps to protocols that have already been audited. So it's you know very secure at the moment. And DeFly and I uh, are hopefully going to get um, the protocols that we work on audited in the future. Yeah, it's kind of a good point to make too that you're, that uh, Dex aggregators such as yours and DeFly, uh, they're they're leveraging the technology that's already that already exists. You know, Humble Swap and Tiny Man and Algofi and the like, and the, all of those Dexes have been already audited. So that that is a good point to make. Uh, I'm curious, how does Alamex generate revenue? Yeah, so uh, the revenue is generated by um, the combo swaps. So with the combo swap, Alamex can provide a quote that's actually better than any individual exchange. So um, right now, Alamex takes 25% of the profit that's generated for any combo swap. Uh, and the profit is basically the difference between the Alamex quote and the best quote from any individual DEX. It was recently announced that Alamex uh, partnered up with Flipside Crypto to provide an analytics portal. Uh, how will that benefit users? I haven't checked it out too much, although I do have it right over here. So I just pulled this up. I haven't taken a look at it too much, uh, but it, I've actually never explored Flipside Crypto. So could you speak a little bit uh, more on that partnership and how this will benefit Alamex users? Yeah. So the main benefit is just visibility into you know some of the metrics, which I think is important just so that people who use the platform know that there's other people using it. I think that brings some comfort to people who are kind of newer to the, uh, to the project. And it's also very useful for me just to know, you know, how engaged people are and, you know, whether features that I release actually have any sort of impact on the usage, which I think in the end will benefit end users as that'll kind of inform my decisions in the future. That mostly wraps up a lot of questions I have for Alamex, but I do have an interesting question. Uh, you know, back in May, an Algorand company known as Headline announced they had acquired Algo Options, a DeFi protocol featuring 100% collateralized options contracts. And if I'm correct, this is a project uh, project that you created, right? Yeah. So that that was actually the first project that I worked on on Algorand. Fantastic. So could you speak a little bit onto you know, why you created the options platform and maybe uh, discuss a little bit uh, why you decided to go the acquisition route as opposed to building it out? Yeah. So over the past, I would say four or five years, I've gotten really into options trading um, just as a mechanism for getting passive income. So I kind of really started getting excited about potentially bringing that uh, tool over to crypto specifically Algorand, just because I myself would love to sell puts uh, on Algorand, especially during this bear market, just because there's a ton of money to be made off of uh, option premiums. So I thought that, you know, if I wanted this product, then there's probably others out there who, who would uh, as well. So I think around November, December of last year, I started just exploring the Algorand ecosystem and uh, playing around with some of the developer tooling. And once I got into the smart contracts, uh, I, I basically wrote up a, a 
prototype for an options uh, protocol within a day. It was a very simple one and it wasn't scalable, but um, I got it working. Uh, and then, you know, a, a couple months after that, I decided to leave my job and fully dedicate myself to, to building it out just because I thought there was a, a huge opportunity there. I, I spent a lot of time. Uh, I had a, a fully functioning protocol and, you know, UI that worked pretty well. Uh, so I reached out to some VCs and the Algorand Foundation. Um, and at, at the end of the day, I got pretty mixed feedback. There was a lot of concerns about uh, whether the ecosystem was ready for an options protocol, um, just because Algorand, the Algorand ecosystem is fairly new and there's uh, a lot of other protocols to be built out first. And then the other concern is just liquidity. You know, right now, a lot of ASAs don't have uh, a lot of liquidity just for, for market swap. So adding options onto that would be, you know, potentially risky. After getting that feedback, I kind of decided that maybe I should put the project on hold and work on something else. Um, so that's kind of when I started working on the DEX aggregator. And then I had recently seen that uh, headline had acquired, I forget the, the name of, of the project, but it was kind of another um, you know, fairly newer project with only one developer. So I figured I should just reach out and see if you know they were uh, potentially interested in the options protocol, and they were. Um, so I, I thought rather than letting it go to waste, um, headline could you know take it and run with it and uh it seems like that's what they've done yeah fantastic no i think it's a brilliant idea and i do agree at least with your original idea that it was a, a big opportunity because uh, the space still doesn't have any options platforms actually i think that's wrong now i think fxdx has some derivatives um uh, and they just launched but uh but other than that i don't think there's anything else that is out yet i believe deridex is coming out soon as well i'm having them on the channel sometime soon where it just had to reschedule uh but up until maybe a week or two ago there was there was none of that but i would agree to some of the concerns that uh we do we are still pretty very illiquid on some of these asas so i can only imagine that uh some of them might not be feasible to do options contracts because of so now you alluded to it a little bit but why did you decide to build on algorand so I heard about Algorand from uh, one of my former colleagues at Amazon, um, and he actually heard a talk by Alex Trefonis, who's the developer of Algodex. And during that talk, uh, Alex basically outlined all of the technical advantages that Algorand has over uh, you know, pretty much all other blockchains. Um, and when my colleague told me about that, I wasn't really into any sort of cryptocurrency or blockchain uh, at that time. So it really kind of got me excited. Um, because I saw an investment opportunity and also, um, you know, I come from a tech background, so I was just naturally curious. So I started really getting into the ecosystem and looking into like the specifics of the technical advantages. Um, and as I dove into it, it kind of became clear that it, it's very undervalued and has a, a lot of potential there. At the time, there were some, you know, pretty major gaps that needed to be filled specifically with like contract to contract calls. Um, but progress is being made there. So, uh, you know, I'm still very bullish on Algorand. I have no regrets building on it. Yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, Alex is actually probably one of my first guests on the show and not the very first, but maybe the second or third and maybe the most frequented guest he's been on, I think, two or three times. Uh, a great project, honestly. I really think that a limit order exchange and an order book decks is uh, super needed in the space as well. But, you know, that uh, that platform is struggling from a uh, similar problem as the rest of them, which is low liquidity currently. So, uh, you know, hopefully that changes, which we are kind of seeing it change a little bit. I mean, Algorand is now uh, in the all-time high, at least in terms of total value locked, which is pretty uh, pretty crazy to see in the midst of a bear market. Because if you look at a, at the other ecosystems, the total value locked is uh, consistent with the bear market. You know, every, everything else has been going down where Algorand is hitting new highs. So it'll be interesting to see uh, where the space goes once the bull market comes back. Is there anything I haven't asked today that you want to bring attention to to my audience, whether about Alamex or any other projects you might be working on? I guess I, I just want to give a, a shout out to DeFly um, and you know plug their product. Uh, I know some people might consider us competitors, but um, I've been working very closely with them, and they actually they actually reached out to me uh, soon after I publicly announced that I was working on this. They're extremely nice and probably the most uh talented uh engineers that i've ever worked with so you know big shout out to them and uh i know that when i first tweeted out that um i was working on this i said that 
like I implied that Alamex was the first. Um, and I just want to apologize for that. That was complete ignorance on my part because I didn't know that DeFly uh, had DEX aggregation capabilities. Uh, I was still kind of new to the Algorand ecosystem. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, it seems no harm, no foul at this point. Uh yeah, actually, that's great, though. I'm a big fan of DeFly over here, uh, was even participated in their pre-sale. So full disclosure that, you know, I am a I'm a big fan of DeFly. I think their application is terrific. But I actually, you know, you brought up something that I do want to ask about. You know, you mentioned that people would see you two as kind of competitors, which I would kind of as well. Uh, but one of the things I've noticed a lot in this space is there's a lot more collaboration between projects that you would think would be competitors. You know, I mentioned something online the other day about folks finance and AlgoFi, and I, I, you know, I didn't directly say it, but essentially implied that they were competitors. And someone from AlgoFi met, uh, commented on it and said, "Our only competition is other L1s," which was, you know, a very professional uh, comment, but it also like goes to the ethos in the space that there's a lot more collaboration than competition, at least within this ecosystem. Uh, so could you speak a little bit more to that and how the collaboration side works as opposed to uh, seeing yourself as a competitor with other aggregators? Yeah, I mean, I, I think collaboration is extremely powerful, um, especially for someone like me. I'm, I'm kind of building this out on my own and it's very useful to have uh, you know another team or set of people to, to bounce ideas off of. and then. You know, from an implementation perspective, getting code reviews and you know partnering to uh, to get audits is uh, it's awesome for me, and it's uh, it's pretty much a requirement because uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable deploying smart contracts out uh, without another set of eyes on them. You know, maybe for larger teams, it uh, it might not be that important, but for me, um, I think partnerships are uh, are key, and they'll they'll definitely keep me afloat. Um, and I, I definitely agree with the sentiment that uh, you know, with an algorithm, the only competition is other L1s because um, you know at this point the ecosystem is uh, is very small, and if you're you know considering other you know similar projects as competition, you're kind of losing sight of the overall picture, which is that algorithm has you know a very small portion of uh, the market share when it comes to you know overall trading volume and TVL. Uh, obviously, that's going up, but you know, longer term, um, if Algorand becomes as big as you know Ethereum or Solana, uh, you know, there's going to be so much space for yep. you know multiple Dex aggregators or multiple lending protocols for the case of uh, AlgoFi and, and folks finance that uh, it, it doesn't really make sense to uh, to think short term like that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more. You said it. Uh, you said it fantastically. Well, this has been fantastic. Uh, where can my audience go to learn more about Alamex? Yeah, so my homepage uh, has the the basic information, and I recently wrote up uh, some documentation. So if you go to docs.alamex.com, uh, there's some some pretty simple documentation there. I'm going to be uh, you know adding on to it um, as more features are released, but uh, I think most of the technical details are there. Fantastic. And I'll leave a link to all of that down in the description below. And if there's anything else that you want to let the audience know before we uh, depart, uh, feel free to do so now. But if not, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come on the show and uh, you know share the project with us. And you kind of share your insights on, on the ecosystem as well. It was great. Uh, yeah. So if there's anything you want to let the audience know, feel free to do so now. And if not, we'll, uh, we'll have to do this again sometime. Yeah, I just want to thank everybody who has, you know, used my platform over the, the past several months. I know that um, for newer projects, it's definitely a risk um, just because, you know, you don't know if they're trying to pull some sort of scam on you um, and you don't know how talented the developers are. So uh, I really thank everybody for you know putting their trust in me and I promise that I'll continue to deliver. Fantastic. Well, you heard the man. Go check out Alamex either at the website at, let's see, what was it? at the website at app.alamex.com or on Twitter. It's uh, at Alamex, I believe. I don't think there's any copycats. I think you got the full one, correct? Yeah, at Alamex Official. At Alamex Official. Awesome. Well, go check them out, and I appreciate you coming on the show. All right. Cheers. Thanks for having me. No problem. Take care. You too. Bye. All right. That was my discussion with Phil. Alamex is a fantastic project. DEX aggregators are a fantastic way to help fix the fractured liquidity problem across multiple exchanges. And I hope you really appreciated the discussion. 
Let me know your favorite part of the discussion down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check the description down below for ways that you can help support the channel, including a donation wallet address you can see here or in the description down below, as well as links to affiliate programs like Lofty AI in which you could get $25 towards investing in tokenized real estate on the Algorand blockchain. So like and subscribe, check out the description, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.